Recall those blockbuster biblical films that once dominated the box office? They were lucrative ventures, with classics like The Ten Commandments starring Charlton Heston still being broadcast globally during Christian festivities. Then came Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ, a graphic but record-breaking success, astonishingly produced on a modest $30 million budget and generating over $600 million worldwide. Before Gibson's Passion Project, Hollywood had abandoned the notion of biblical epics, but Passion defied expectations. Despite being entirely in languages like Latin and Aramaic with English subtitles, it resonated with audiences. Now, prepare yourself for Gibson's next venture into the life of Christ, the officially titled Passion of Christ Resurrection. Gibson unveiled this revelation in an April interview with outstanding screenplays, stirring widespread excitement. Clearly approaching the sequel with utmost seriousness, Gibson envisions a profound impact. Discarding a linear storyline, he aims to intricately interlace elements from various time periods, promising a more immersive experience. Though it may seem like a complex puzzle, the prospect has stirred anticipation among audiences. Gibson is not just working on one, but two scripts for Passion of the Christ Resurrection. One adheres to a more structured, classic format, while the other takes a psychedelic turn, described by Gibson as somewhat of an acid trip. This unconventional script delves into otherworldly realms, journeys to hell, and even depicts angels falling from grace. It sounds eccentric, but in an intriguing and captivating way. Now, let's talk about the cast of Passion of the Christ Resurrection. The esteemed Jim Caviezel is reprising his role as Jesus Christ, bringing his compelling portrayal back to the forefront. Maya Morgenstern is set to portray Mary, adding depth to the character of Jesus' mother. In addition to these key figures, Christo Jivkov will embody the role of John, while Francesco DeVito takes on the character of Simon Peter. These are significant roles in the biblical narrative, and the inclusion of such talented actors adds an extra layer of excitement to the project. As the production of Passion of the Christ Resurrection unfolds, there's still a veil of mystery surrounding additional characters yet to be announced. The gradual unveiling of the cast will likely provide hints about the direction of this epic tale, keeping audiences in suspense. Jim Caviezel, in an interview on The Sean Ryan Show on YouTube, offered a glimpse behind the scenes. Discussions with Mel Gibson about the project's timing suggest that shooting could commence in January or possibly at the end of fall. The timeline remains uncertain, emphasizing the meticulous planning involved. According to Caviezel, Gibson has dedicated a substantial amount of time to the project, leading to expectations of a monumental film. Interestingly, there's speculation about the film possibly spanning two or even three parts, although Caviezel leans toward the idea of two films. Considering these insights, the direction of Passion of the Christ Resurrection appears to be a well-thought-out and ambitious endeavor. The potential for a multi-film narrative suggests a comprehensive exploration of the biblical story, and as more details emerge, audiences will likely gain a clearer understanding of the project's scope and vision. As we anticipate Mel Gibson's cinematic portrayal of the resurrection in The Passion of the Christ Resurrection, the title itself suggests a strong focus on this pivotal moment in Jesus' story. Gibson's artistic vision for depicting these events raises intriguing possibilities and potential controversies. The title, Resurrection, hints at a portrayal of Jesus' return, possibly utilizing de-aging techniques to present a visually flawless and idealized version of Christ. This approach could emphasize the divine and transcendental aspects of the resurrection. The ascension into heaven might be depicted with a cinematic abundance of light and overexposure, allowing for a certain ambiguity to cater to a faith-based experience. On the flip side, Gibson may opt for a more unconventional approach by embracing Jim Caviezel's mature age, portraying a rugged Jesus who has returned from the dead with visible wounds from the crucifixion. This choice, while bold, could spark controversy, a realm Gibson is no stranger to. It has the potential to ignite passionate debates between religious scholars and enthusiasts of horror cinema, as it would present a departure from the conventional and more sanitized portrayals of Jesus in mainstream cinema. Gibson's penchant for controversy could once again push the boundaries of cinematic storytelling, offering a unique and thought-provoking perspective on this sacred narrative. 
Mel Gibson's potential exploration of a sci-fi approach to the Ascension in The Passion of the Christ Resurrection introduces an intriguing possibility involving celestial spaceships or alien-like figures in majestic white robes. Drawing inspiration from visually imaginative works like Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal, this creative take on God's physical form and technology could excite genre fans but might also pose a risk of alienating the faith-based target audience. The exact direction Gibson intends to take remains uncertain, adding an element of anticipation to the film's release. But it is sure to make a significant impact regardless of the chosen path. Given the massive box office success of the first Passion of the Christ film, there's considerable potential for this sequel to match or even surpass its predecessor. Comparisons to recent hits like Tom Cruise's Top Gun Maverick highlight the enduring popularity and staying power that both films share, not just during their openings. A long-awaited sequel to Passion of the Christ could indeed become a box office blockbuster. Jim Caviezel, who portrayed Jesus in the original film, has previously expressed concerns about the potential negative impact on his career. However, his willingness to return for an additional installment is not ruled out. Despite controversy surrounding his involvement in topics like QAnon conspiracies, Mel Gibson, no stranger to controversy himself, may see value in Caviezel's return, adding another layer of intrigue to the film's production and reception. The exploration of tonal shifts in biblical epics can be traced from The Passion of the Christ to Noah, a film directed by Darren Aronofsky and produced by Paramount Pictures a decade later. Unlike a typical spin-off, Noah stands as a standalone story similar to Solo or Rogue One in the Star Wars universe, drawing tonal inspiration from passion but taking bold creative liberties. In Noah, the portrayal of the iconic biblical character takes an unconventional turn as he is depicted somewhat as a lunatic, challenging traditional perceptions. The film also ventures into the depiction of angels as stone creatures, aiding Noah on his journey reminiscent of an idea William Shatner had for the finale of Star Trek V, where Captain Kirk confronts a godlike entity. Notably, Star Trek V was a divisive entry in the franchise, released in 1989 as The Final Frontier. Filmmakers face a complex dilemma when portraying angels or other elements from biblical lore. There's a temptation to give them a specific aesthetic, visually defining God, angels, or demons. However, this poses the risk of either offending or challenging the intentionally unknowable and sacred concepts held by faith-based audiences. Striking a delicate balance becomes crucial, as many films opt to tread carefully, leaving the sacred icons vague. This approach allows people with strong spiritual beliefs to connect with the narrative without feeling that their beliefs are undermined. The challenge lies in navigating these profound and deeply held concepts with sensitivity and respect. The upcoming sequel to The Passion of the Christ presents a unique opportunity for Mel Gibson to convey complex ideas through innovative filmmaking techniques, potentially using nature's textures as universal metaphors. Celestial beings in the film might be represented uniquely, possibly through the embodiment of sentient trees or rocks. However, Gibson's inclination towards conventional storytelling may lead to more specific and potentially divisive approaches, including hints at ancient alien theories. Gibson's cryptic mention of another realm in a 2016 interview suggests a willingness to explore expansive and bold interpretations of biblical mythology. This exploration could extend to audacious ideas, such as depicting God's spaceship or divine laboratories, reminiscent of Marvel's portrayal of celestial beings. Breaking away from a linear narrative, the sequel is expected to depart from traditional biblical accounts, weaving together multiple elements to create a complex and intricate story. A central focus is anticipated to be Jesus' descent into hell to confront Satan, drawing inspiration from early Christian beliefs like the harrowing of hell. This narrative choice promises to bring depth and complexity to the overarching story of Christ's resurrection. As details emerge, it's clear that the sequel is poised to offer a fresh and unconventional take on biblical narratives, exploring cosmic layers that go beyond the traditional cinematic portrayals of religious stories. The anticipation for this cinematic venture is palpable, 
and audiences are eager to see how Mel Gibson brings his vision to life on the big screen. That's it for now. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel to get updated. Let us know your thoughts on it. See ya! Thank <laughs> you.